What's up party people, it's your boy Optimus Code, and today I'm going to take y'all on an adventure into the land of computer graphics. And by the time we're done, y'all will have a better understanding of how computers draw images and text to the screen. One of the things you have to understand is that the way humans draw and the way computers draw are very different. Okay. I'm gonna use this Apple Pencil and this iPad to illustrate those differences. So, when you're talking about the way humans draw, humans always draw with some combination of a straight line or a curved line. And you can make the line as curved as you want to, like even a circle or some oval. And also, human beings can take their pen or pencil or brush, whatever they're drawing with, See, if they wanted to draw something here in this bottom right corner, a human being can put the pencil right there and start drawing whatever it is that they want. Okay, so a human being can take their pencil and just draw like all over the place, whatever they want to draw. If I wanted to draw a person, I could start out with a curved line, the circle, a straight line, another straight line, curved line, curved line, straight, straight, actually I guess these are curved lines, but you get the point, straight, straight, curved. Now I've drawn a person. If I wanted to draw a flower, same thing, straight line, curved line, then a bunch of curved lines, boom, flower. If I wanted to draw a hat, let's start out with some combination of curved and square lines, color that in, and put a flower on the end of the hat, and now I have a hat. And I can put a face under the hat. There you go. But all of this is with some combination of curved and straight lines. Okay? Now, this is very, very different than the way a computer would draw that same thing. So, with computers, have what's known as pixels. So this is a monitor where it's turned off. If we were to turn that monitor on, then you could see that the monitor has a ton of pixels and these pixels are these little dots so that's an important thing that you need to realize that a pixel simply equals a really small dot and there are thousands of these dots on a computer monitor so in a regular high definition display so we'll just assume this is the high definition display if you look at this horizontal axis going this way there will be 1,920 pixels or dots starting here and going all the way here to the edge of the screen. Conversely, there will be 1,080 rows of those dots. So that the total amount of pixels on this screen is 2,073,600 total pixels okay and that's how this works so keep in mind that each computer monitor is just filled with small dots that we call pixels and something that's very important to note about these pixels the computer draws every image every piece of text everything that shows up on here the computer draws it all the exact same way So now, how does the computer draw using these pixels? Well, each one of these pixels is assigned a color. The color that the pixel takes on depends on the image that the pixel, I'm sorry, depends on the image that the computer is trying to draw. So for example, let's just assume that it wanted to draw just a screen full of red, okay? What the computer will do is it will start at this top left dot and it will fill it in with red. It'll go to the next dot, it'll fill it in with red. The next dot, fill it in with red, so on and so forth. And it's gonna do that all the way down this first row of pixels, all the way across. Then it goes to the next row and it does the same thing again. Filling it in dot by dot till it gets all the way down. Then it does the same thing again. It goes to the next row and it does it again. Fills them in one dot at a time. And it does that all the way down until this whole thing is filled with red. I'm going to illustrate this a little bit better here in a few minutes, but there's a point that I need to make here. If the computer wanted to draw a Z 
at this bottom right corner, the computer does not have the ability to just go down here. Let's just say it wanted to draw a blue Z. The computer does not have the ability to go here and just start filling in these dots with the blue pixels. That's not how it works. The computer has to, it absolutely positively has to start at this top left corner and start filling in these pixels all the way down. Even if the only color that it wants to draw is the blue Z down at the bottom right, the computer has no ability to start at the bottom right and fill in only those pixels. It absolutely positively has to go through this same sequence every single time. So it'll start here, it'll go down, down, down. It's gonna fill up all of these rows and eventually it's gonna to get to this row and it's gonna fill it in and it's gonna stop. And it's gonna look at the image that it's trying to draw and it'll put a blue dot here, 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 and here. Then it'll go back to black dots because it has to fill in this pixel grid every single time. It's going to fill in each pixel starting at the top left, going across to the right, and it's gonna fill it in top to bottom and it does not deviate. And it will do this continually over and over and over. So keep in mind that if it wants to come down here and draw an image, it can't. It must start at this top left here. It always starts here and it goes from left to right, top to bottom every single time. Now let me try to demonstrate that a little bit more clearly here. All right, so now we have this red arrow on the left with a black background and we want the computer to draw this image. Now as you see here on the right, I have created a monitor that has eight by eight pixels, which means it has eight pixels across the horizontal and it has eight rows of pixels. So a grid of 64 pixels, eight by eight, is what this monitor is. So in this example, starting out, we've got a red arrow on the left with a black background. So the very first thing that a computer will do to draw this image is start at the top left. Remember I told you guys this was the starting point and this happens every time. It always starts in the top left corner and it draws the first pixel. Then it will go over and it will draw the next pixel, okay? And the reason that it's drawing this black here is because this background is black here. So it's going to do this the same. So, so I'll show you, I'll illustrate. It's gonna draw this pixel it's black. It's gonna to get to this pixel and it's going to make this pixel red. Why? Because it's red here. Again, it's starting here on the left. It's drawing each pixel, it's getting here. And this is gonna draw this pixel as red. Then it's gonna to go to the next pixel. It needs to be black. It's gonna to go to the next pixel, black, next pixel, black, next pixel, black. Then it's done with that row. Now it's gonna start over. It's gonna go back to the left to the next row and then it's going to draw that pixel, okay? Then it's gonna to go to the next pixel and it's gonna draw that pixel. Then it's gonna go here and it's gonna make that pixel red. Why is that pixel red? Because it's about here, and so it's making that pixel red. Then this next pixel also needs to be red. Next one needs to be red, and it's gonna draw these next pixels black. It's gonna to go to the next one black. Now this is going real slow while I'm doing it because I'm trying to illustrate to you what the computer does. Then it's gonna repeat the same thing. It's gonna to go to the next line, it's gonna draw a pixel, pixels until it's done with that arrow. All right, now I'm gonna speed this up a little bit so that y'all can see uh, what happens and it's not so aggravatingly slow, but I'm not gonna speed it up too fast because I really wanna highlight that the computer always goes from left to right, top to bottom. When it's done with the row, it goes all the way back to the left to the next row, the first pixel in the next row, and then it fills up that row pixel by pixel. It does not skip pixels. It cannot just go and color in the red areas. Now, this image is done and it's just sitting there. But what happens with a computer, even though this image is done being drawn and it's sitting there, the computer is still going to draw that image again. 
And as long as this image is on the screen, the computer is going to continue to draw it. If you look at like a, a browser, right? Like if you go to a web page and there's a, in a web browser and there's some web page you're looking at and you can hit the refresh button if you want to get the latest version of that page. Let's say maybe something changed while you were sitting on the page. So you hit refresh and then what that will do is that will give you the latest version of that web page. A similar thing happens here. Once the computer is done drawing this image like it is now, it is still going to refresh that image and draw it again. You don't necessarily have to hit the uh, refresh button yourself or it's built into the system. But what happens is at a very minimum, the computer monitor is going to redraw that image 30 times every second. And that's what's called a refresh rate. And something like this, as simple as it is, depending on what monitor you have, it'll probably draw this image 120 times a second, maybe even 60 times a second, again, depending on the monitor that you have. But it's not gonna just draw the image one time and stop and just let it sit there. It's going to continually draw the image over and over. So every second, it's gonna draw that image a minimum of 30 times. Again, depending on your monitor. This is called the refresh rate or Hertz because every so many Hertz, it will redraw the image. And that's where the notion of 30 frames per second comes from or 60 frames per second or 120 frames per second. Now, that we're, we haven't got that far yet. Again, this is just the beginning. This is just the basics but I want you to understand the notion of the refresh rate and frames per second. Frames per second is different than this, but it's a very similar concept that we'll get to later on in the series. Right now, we're just dealing with how the computer actually draws and we haven't introduced any game specific concepts yet. And this thing you're looking at now, you're looking at this video, your monitor is redrawing this at least 30 times per second. You see how the box is just sitting here, the arrow's just sitting here while I'm talking. It's not just sitting there. This arrow, this image is being redrawn for you a minimum of 30 times every second. All right, so that's pretty much it for this first session. Uh, but before we get out of here, we got a little quiz that we want y'all to take. Uh, it's only five questions, and if y'all was paying attention, y'all should be able to pass this quiz pretty easily. Okay, time is up, quiz is over, pencils down. How did y'all do? It wasn't too bad, right? Uh, if you were paying attention throughout the video, then this little five question quiz should have been real easy for you to pass. Now here's the thing though, like, and this is important, right? The goal here with this video series is to get, eventually get into some of the more advanced topics when it comes to computer graphics and video games and the rendering pipeline and all of this stuff that we'll get to later but before we can cover that stuff y'all we got to get these basics out of the way so i hope y'all enjoyed the video i hope y'all learned something i hope you excited for the next one if you ain't then you know i have to do a better job next time if you enjoyed the video leave a like if you're interested in this type of content and you want to be notified when I drop more videos in this series, then go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell notification icon. Thanks for staying to the end of the video. That's it for this one, and I'll see y'all next time. Peace.